In case you didn't know, The Weeknd is a big deal. I mean, he keeps winning all kinds of awards. He keeps hooking up with celebrities such as Bella Hadid, Selena Gomez, and, apparently, Angelina Jolie. He's currently selling his Los Angeles pad dubbed the Mogul for $22.5 million because he bought a $69 million mega mansion in Bel Air. The Weeknd's condo contains interesting items such as this android thing that is clearly inspired by Maria from the movie Metropolis, which is revered by the occult elite. Seriously, The Weeknd is a big deal. And he knows it. Five years ago, he celebrated the fact that he was a big deal with the song Starboy where he poignantly sings. I'm mother Starboy. More importantly, the video symbolically depicted his ascension to a higher level in the music industry. As an ultimate confirmation of his superstardom, The Weeknd performed at the 2021 Super Bowl halftime show, the biggest televised event of the year. And that was all very symbolic as well. Well, we all know that The Weeknd is a big deal, there's an important theme in nearly all of his works. Fame of fortune comes with a great price. His new album, Dawn FM, continues with the same narrative. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Why is the weak and old on the Dawn FM album cover? You'll soon understand. The concept behind Dawn FM is described as listening to a retro pop radio station while in purgatory. Throughout the album, a radio DJ, voiced by actor Jim Carrey, guides the weakened and the listeners towards the light, which might refer to death. Although that's already a grim concept, the light might actually be something else. The first video from that album, titled Sacrifice, clearly indicates that there's a dark spiritual meaning behind the album. Seriously, that video is basically occult symbolism 101. I mean, the name itself says it all. It's all about sacrificing one's soul to the occult elite. Some might say, you're reaching bro, it's about him not willing to sacrifice his independence when he's in a relationship. Bro, check out the video and please tell me, what part is about a relationship. The video begins by introducing the concept behind Dawn FM. As the weekend stands in a dark room, we hear the radio DJ say, You are now listening to 103.5 Dawn FM. You've been in the dark for way too long. It's time to walk into the light and accept your fate with open arms. Scared? Don't worry. We'll be here to hold your hand and guide you through this painless transition. But what's the rush? Just relax and enjoy another hour of commercial free music on 103.5 Dawn FM. Blinded by a powerful light, the weakened makes a one-eye sign. There's some heavy Luciferian symbolism going on here. First, Lucifer is known as the son of the dawn in the Bible and various mythologies. Also, the word Lucifer literally means light bringer in Latin. This is because Lucifer is esoterically associated with the Venus, the star seen at dawn. Ancient Romans spoke Latin and knew Venus as the morning star by its Latin name, Lucifer, Lightbringer. In their mythology, Lucifer carried a torch and announced the dawn. To the Romans, Lucifer was sacred to the goddess Venus, the name that was later chosen as the scientific name for the planet. Nightsky tourist, Venus. So, when DJ Jim Carrey, from the station Dawn FM, tells the weakened to walk into the light, we are deep in Luciferian symbolism. This is not about physical death, this is about spiritual death and rebirth, the goal of occult initiations. This is confirmed by the fact that Carrie also says you've been in the dark for way too long. Another element that hints at sacrifice being about occult initiation. The rest of the entire video. The weakened is forcibly carried by a group of people wearing black hoods. That's usually not good. He is then strapped to a circular contraption, and it is raised on a stage for all to see. This scene is basically the weakened getting crucified. 
We are witnessing a satanic black mass, where Christian rites and symbols are twisted, mocked, and desecrated. Among the black robes, a red-hooded figure emerges. I've been analyzing music videos since 2009, and I've always stressed the fact that many of them are secretly deeply ritualistic. Today, videos are all-out rituals, they're no hiding it anymore. Furthermore, I've always highlighted the all-important color code in these videos, where red represents sacrifice during initiation. Well, in this video called Sacrifice, the weakened gets initiated by a red-hooded figure. And that initiation doesn't seem pleasant at all. This snapshot shows the red-hooded figure approaches the weakened and extracts something out of the weakened. Considering the occult context of the video, that red figure probably extracted the weakened soul or life force. And that's exactly what is required to make it big in the music industry. After the ritual, the weakened performs for the hooded figures while he's literally chained to the mix stand. This is a perfect way of representing slavery to the music industry. Then, the red hooded figure is revealed. At first, the red person looks normal, but, for a second, we see its true, ugly, rotting, demonic face. When the weakened removes his gauntlets, we see that he's as rotten as the red figure. He is now one of them. The video ends with a weakened walking away. He's got some stuff to do and people to see. Because he's a big deal. If somehow, you still believe that sacrifice is about a relationship, the video for the remix makes things even clearer. The sacrifice remix video is all about hip young people dancing and having fun. But then, some dancers become possessed, like this girl with all white eyes. Then, the dancer levitates as people dance in a circle around her. The part turned into a ritual. The remix video sums up the goal of the industry. After infecting the weakened with its rotten illness, he is used to infect the rest of the world. That's gonna be a no for me dog. While critics are swooning over the originality and the creativity of Dawn FM, the sacrifice video is anything but original and creative. In fact, it follows the same exact blueprint used by countless music videos with ritualistic symbolism, right down to the color red representing blood sacrifice and occult initiation. The concept of Dawn FM is about following the light. However, when one understands the meaning of sacrifice, it becomes abundantly clear that we are actually talking about the false light. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11.8 Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. And thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.